No, so many people circumvent accountability all the time. People are like, this country is so litigious so that you can circumvent accountability. I have enough money I can give you some money so that I'm really not really punished for this. I have enough power and influence. We can void all of this. I have enough access that this didn't really even happen. So it doesn't matter. I can give you something to kind of make it go away. I can give you something to make it, whatever I did wrong to you, feel a little bit better. And I think that men need to get close and comfortable with accountability. Get close with being wrong. Because I think that it would cure so many of the headaches that so many men find themselves in on a consistent basis where they're arguing with people, where they I seen something beautiful online just earlier today, uh, this podcast where they record everything like in nature. It's real, it's real interesting podcast. And basically they stated how, you know, so many men are, you know, object to the idea of like being vulnerable and really allowing love in because, you know, they don't want to lose it. So that fear of losing love makes them heighten all of these, you know, very, you know, aggressive and hyper-masculine and toxic masculine uh, traits, qualities, and actions uh, because control feels a lot better and more comfortable than love. Because love, you got to give in. You know what I'm saying? You got to let the, you got to let that love in. You got to release that. You got to release your muscles. You feel me? And I think that that's a big, big thing that we don't really genuinely uh, do more of. And I just kind of commented and said, like, you know, control dynamics and power dynamics is something that a lot of men opt into, you know, inherently. Hence why there's this real genuine sense to hustle, make as much money, get as much knowledge, or gain as much access, um, and also get your health to a certain degree so that you can have genuine power and influence over other people. Um, um, but I think that, like I said in that episode, men have this real interesting thing about morality and they don't know they rather you know be on be very tribal when it comes to men because they look at themselves as being flawed so they don't want to judge men too harshly because it's like shit they could say something to me they could say something about me they could say something about what i got going on and what i'm doing i ain't perfect i ain't rich i ain't whatever whatever and i think men use those things to keep moving the goalposts as to why they don't have to hold each other accountable Cause it's like that nigga trying, he got a job, he a man, he or whatever. And it's instead there's no space given in that. And I think that that's the problem when it comes to the idea of accountability, because I think so many men see accountability as them basically cow telling and, you know, acquiescing to a bunch of demands that they, that they feel like is making them weak. Goes back to the idea of, you know, being wrong. It's like, what is it? What does it really genuinely make you feel? And I think a lot of men don't like the idea of being wrong or they change the idea of being wrong into a positive. So that way they still don't can, don't have to really be accountable for it. It's like, yeah, I'm a dickhead. I'm a, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I could be wrong. I'm, yeah. Fuck you. It is what it is. But in reality, you feel, you holding that, you feel that way. When you realize that you can't get the same access into the same spaces and places with people in certain ways, you're affected by that. That affects you. The fact that somebody can forever hold something over your head because you still have yet to say that you are sorry, which goes to, you know, my last point. And that's how to apologize. 